morning welcome back to my channel a um, little bit uninspired as to what to do this morning so I've come up onto the Contoc Hills and I'm gonna walk up over to the highest point of the Contocs which is uh, Will's Neck um, so not get any particular photos in mind nothing nothing that I really want to get I'm just gonna literally go for a walk take the camera and see what we see what we see so walk with me and see what we get see you in a bit there's some it's been a bit stormy the last couple of days there are some nice clouds blowing over um, bit of definition in the sky bit of light breaking through in places so the potentials potentials there to hopefully get a few nice shots but um, just gonna keep walking and um, see if we can get a see if we can get a bit of interest in something and then set the camera up Okay, I just grabbed a couple of handheld shots. Um, it's just looking quite nice out over the veil there with um, some nice light breaking over the fields and over the sides of the hill. So um, just grabbed a couple of handheld shots using a couple of these trees as foreground. And uh, just just quickly, whilst I'm on, on the way up through, just, just grabbed them quickly. So. I'll um, put the images up, let you have a look. Okay, so here we are up at Will's Neck. Um, some nice 360 views. So uh, I think I'm just going to try and get some compositions here whilst I'm here, maybe looking off into the distance. Um, some nice cloud movement, so might even do some slow exposures to get a bit of movement in the clouds. So just hunt around. Have a look around for a bit of a composition and then I'll, um, I'll come back to you and show you what I got. Okay, I'm getting a bit frustrated now because I've got a, got a nice view with a nice shot, but I just can't find anything to use as a foreground interest. So starting to because starting to annoy me now because the uh, the light's going to go in a minute. It's quite nice light at the moment, but it's going to break in a minute, and we're going to lose an opportunity. So, um, just frantically trying to find a 
some foreground to uh, to get this shot if not might have to resync it do something different okay keep looking okay yeah, i'm um, broken a bit of a rule of mine to be honest because i was gonna stop stop rushing photos this year but um i just wanted to try and grab this shot just to try to be able to bring something out if i can um so i've opted for this up composition using this pathway here um as a leading line into the shot and then we've got um got the trees and some nice light on the horizon and some some nice cloud in the background so I've, I've taken a couple of shots taking a couple of different exposures to um to blend together and hopefully hopefully try and um come up with some sort of a some sort of an image um but not overly happy to be honest it's a it turned out to be a case of just grabbing an opportunity but we shall see we shall see when i get it back on the computer Okay, so we've got a few, uh, few of the Quantock ponies over there in the, um, over on the brow of the hill. Years ago, I can remember doing the, uh, doing the Quantock pony roundup. Uh, that always used to be, uh, used to be a good day. Rounding up the ponies off of the hill, off of the Quantocks right the way across, gathering them down into um, well, originally the village of Nether Stowey and then they would go off to Bridgewater Fair to be sold off at auction. happier with this shot I think um, I'm using that tree over right on the horizon there um, using that as the main subject um, got the pathway that leads out it goes out to the side out to the right hand third and then leads itself back to the tree um, which is quite nice the lights uh, quite nice at the moment we've got a bit of color in this uh, course in the foreground and some nice clouds in the background uh, going to take some multiple exposures I'm also gonna chuck a filter on and do some slow exposures on those clouds and then I can blend that in with the foreground image in post-processing if it looks okay so I'll um, take the shots and then do a bit of a do a bit of tweak edit on it. Uh, so and then I'll uh, I'll put the image up for you to see. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you like it. And stop filter on doing a 30 second exposure um, at f20 ISO 100 to um, to just get a bit of blur movement in those clouds um, and then I can blend that with the blend that with the shot that I took of the tree originally so yep hopefully looking good
Okay, um, just struggling a little bit for inspiration again this morning. Had a couple of weeks now where it's um, not been great, so, but uh, just got to work through it and wait for that mojo to return. Um, hopefully, hopefully get some new locations soon and um, get some new content so to uh, to boost the enthusiasm so we shall get there okay so clouds starting to break up a little bit sun's getting higher in the sky and brighter so we're not getting any directional light now so i think we'll probably call it a day and we'll come back to the truck Okay, you want to just take the opportunity to uh, thank you again for checking out my channel. Hopefully you're enjoying the content. Uh, let's say the last couple of weeks have been a bit short, um, but check out some of my earlier videos. There's plenty to see. Uh, hopefully you like what you see and then hit that subscribe button and notification bell uh, to keep up with all my latest content. Uh, please give the video a thumb up because that really does help my YouTube channel and drop a comment down below. Uh, so we can uh, keep up and give me some feedback as to what I, what I can do better, anything you want to see, anything at all. Just give me some feedback. Okay, so thanks again for watching. Till next time, take it easy.